Susie is also here. We should have done this one, celebrating 20 years, on our 20th episode. But That's okay. Too We're late. a little bit early. We're going to do it on 19. No worries. So, so yeah. let's introduce ourselves. Who are you? I'm the, uh, I'm the little Justas. The, the little Justas. Who are you? NPT. NPT in the house, Noel Paul Thompson. I'm Olivia. And I'm Pete. Welcome to the Strive Cast. I'm Jeff. Yep. Still we, Jeff. Still Jeff over here. Welcome okay. back. Should we do it again? <laughs> Thank you. Who are you? Welcome. And Thompson. And Thompson. Okay, right. great. So, as Pete just mentioned, we are uh, this year celebrating 20 years of strength. Yay! Yay! This is our 20th anniversary coming up in 2019. So, uh, oh, no. Yep. This is 2019. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's coming up in December is actually right. our anniversary. So this is our 20th year of Strive, and we're going to be celebrating all year long with different events, including a big gala celebration, um, which probably will take place in January of 2020, exactly. actually. We want, to get, we want to get right through the holidays um, before we throw another big event um, on everyone's plate, because we want to have as many people as possible join us yeah. at, the, at the gala. But we'll have lots of things to celebrate um, between now and then as well. Yeah. So today's episode, we is going to be spotlighting someone who can really speak to our 20 years of service and business here at Strive. Our guest today is our front desk receptionist and all things Strive handyman, Chad Taplin. You want to talk a little bit about Chad? Sure. So this year, we thought it would be a good idea to, to spotlight and have some guests come on the podcast that have been a big part of Strive over the past 20 years, and there's nowhere better to start than chat he yep. was one of our original members he has been a volunteer and a staff person and worn just about every hat you can for us he's been to virtually every event we've ever done and um, it's just a great resource for our team here in the office as well as just um, you know the public as they come in or call or ask a, a more information about strive so um, that's why we thought he'd be a good person to, to have join us as we uh, kick off our year of uh, celebration. Absolutely. Well said. So um, we will get to our interview with him shortly. And um, of course, just want to talk about how Strive Rocks Weekend is coming up soon before we do that. So Jeff, Noel, I want to talk about Strive Rocks. Oh, yeah. What are you looking forward to most about the weekend? Um, having a fun time with friends. Having a fun time with friends. What are you going to do with your friends um, at Strive Rocks? Dance the whole night. Dance the night away. And socializes everyone. And socialize with everyone. So we've yeah. got some great inflatables and games and theme hours and laser tag. We have an escape room. We have all you can eat food all night long. Yeah. We got Buffalo Wild Wings and Olive Garden to just sign on this week. So very excited. We're gonna have a new mini golf adventure <laughs> this year as well. Are we still having Olive Garden there? Yeah. Absolutely. They just signed on again, so that's exciting. All you can eat breadsticks. Jeff's pumped, jacked and pumped, right? Uh the only thing that I'm doing that Pete told me to kind of do <laughs> is um, I can raise the money. That's right. That's, that's, right. A, that's the first step for anybody yeah. to come is exactly. raise the money. Raise the money and I don't have to go. <laughs> you don't have to go. Really no. selling it, Jeff. Yep. Thank you. It sounds like a, but if somebody's listening and they don't want to go and they want to raise the money, that's, that's fine, fine too. That's fine also, but it is a really great time and we can't recommend it enough, right, Noel? Oh, yes. Can't, I can't wait to dance the night away with you. Uh, so, no? You don't want to dance with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So that's Drive Rocks again. It's coming up March 16th and the 17th at the Cross Insurance Arena in Portland. You can find out more information about Strive Rocks, the daytime and the nighttime portion at striverocks.org or by giving us a call here at Strive. You can ask to talk to Olivia or Whitney or Pete or Chad. We got all the answers for you. So um, can't wait for that. All right. So when we come back, we'll have our interview with Chad Taplin. We'll be right back. All right, we are back, and we're going to have Noel give a quick bio of our friend Chad Taplin. Ready, Noel? Yeah. Go ahead. Chad Taplin was one of the first four Strive members to attend, attend our Friday night program. Th then 
In the year 2000, Chad started as an intern. Intern. Then, when when we moved into Folding Road, Chad came to work for us and had has, has been running the front desk ever since. He has many stories to tell about the first 20 years of his life. All right, please welcome Chad, Chad Tackler. Tackler. Please welcome Chad. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the Strivecast. You're welcome. Welcome We're to the Strivecast. Cast. taking time out of your busy, busy day yes. to come sit with us. Yes, busy. Of course it is. We appreciate it. All right. It's taking three people to run the desk while Chad's in here. It's so. true. <laughs> All right, Noel, you have the first question. Tell us about your job. What do you do you do here at Strive? What do you do here at Strive? Well, I do about a little bit of everything. You do, yeah. I'm a chief cook and bottle washer. That's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> So you sit at our front desk, right? Right. And what do you do there? I answer telephones. Yep. I let people in. Mm-hmm. And I sort the mail for everybody who's in here. Mm-hmm. And if we, if somebody is looking for something, do they come find you? They come find me. Yeah, because you know where everything is in this building. Right. Yeah. And if people need to reserve a room or if they need to get office supplies or anything else, they always go through you, right? Right. So essentially, you're kind of like the boss of Foden Road. Yes. That's what I call you. Yeah. All right. Jeff, you're up next. Jeffster. <laughs> what is your favorite part about your job? Uh, I like to see people come in and do different things. Yeah. Who are some of your favorite people that come through the door? I like to see Lori and Pete. Oh, the big guns. Yes. I have and other people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't let people, other people in, though. Without, Without uh, going to Chad. Identification. Yep. Yes. Yeah, identification is the key. Sure is, Chad. That's why you're our buzzer man. Yes. <laughs> what is the hottest job about your job? The hardest part about your job. Hardest? Got it all down to a science by now. I know. Yes. Nothing's too difficult for you, it seems. Mm-hmm. Nothing. What? Is there anything that makes you frustrated or mm-hmm. gets you down? No. Any pet peeves? No. Wow. No, no, no pet peeves. Us too. Nothing frustrates us about our jobs. <laughs> I've always said that if we had 12 child taplins, we could rule the world. It's so. true. We could do anything. Jeffrey? What is the... Hardest part about your job? Nope. We just did that. Next. Your. Your. Here. Here until 9 p.m. on a Friday. What makes you want to stay late? So you're here till 9 on Fridays, right? Right. What do you do that for? I just like it. What do we do on Friday nights? We do strive night. Mm-hmm. I'm usually the trash guy. Mm-hmm. You make sure everything's closed up. Yep. You help me close up the building and yep. make sure everything's taken care of. Right. And you volunteer to do that, right? Right. Is there a reason that why you like to do that? So I won't be bored at home. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> what if, if if we have a, t- a toilet problem here at this <laughs> I'll fix it. Chad, yeah, Chad and I split those duties for sure. Um, yeah, so we, I want you to know we really appreciate you staying late on Fridays and, and helping me and the gang out. And wouldn't be the same without you. No. <laughs> Call it the After Nine crew. I think Chad you know. is on the leaderboard probably for the most Strive Nights ever. Ever, probably. In the thousands for sure. Yeah. That's amazing, Chad. Noel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What has been your favorite Strive event? Ever. Ever. 
as we're celebrating 20 years of Strive this year, Chad. Favorite Strive rocks or uh, uh, any of it? You have two? I have two. All right. I have two. Okay. A long time ago, back in, I think we were still there on Congress Street, was Ray Bork. Ooh. Escape, My games too. You know, the old Civic Center, <laughs> me and him and his agent skater around. No way, really? Yeah, yeah, we did a private skate with Ray Bork and That's a little so auction cool. afterwards and, and uh, dinner. Throw the Samurai puck, puck. You did drop. the puck drop? Yeah. That's and, so cool. Yeah, and then it was the pirate, then the pirates right. game right afterwards. Yes. That's awesome. That was a fun one. Yeah. So there's one. What's there's the other one? one. Yeah, a long time ago, I forgot what my birthday was. <laughs> At midnight, uh, Miss May and Miss T May had a special dance with me. Oh, oh that's Strive right, Rocks. Nice. Yeah. Strive right, Rocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we had a Strive Rocks over your birthday? We did. Wow. We used to always do it the first weekend in March, which is very close to Chad's yeah. birthday. It sometimes falls on it. Yeah. That's awesome, Chad. <laughs> Good memories. <laughs> I, I do have another memory. Let's hear it. Of Chad? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, about, we were going to a hockey game. Then when we came back, I was in my bedroom so when my grandfather found out i was gone i was really oh. sleeping in my bedroom i don't, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> it's, over. it's over it's over what what were you not again? supposed to go to the hockey game no. you snuck no. out no. no he came home he didn't tell his grandfather oh that he was home he was home so his grandfather called my father about midnight and asked where Noel was. <laughs> but you were asleep. And my dad said <laughs> we dropped him off a long time ago. So your grandpa was worried. Yeah. And you just went right in and went to bed? Baby, yeah. what did he do that for? <laughs> All right, I think Jeff is up. Or Jeff, do you have a favorite Chad event memory? Um... I don't know. All right, right, we'll okay. stick with the questions. I can remember when you guys used to all come to things together, when Chad would drive, and yeah. all oh, three and of the you hockey, would come. Oh, yes. And, the, and the hockey games at Falmouth. <laughs> I mean, my oh. Jeff story driving home. Oh, let's hear it. Let's on, hear it. On 295. Oh, I I Is it something we, something we can share? <laughs> yeah, with the yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, because he had his camera out, so he had his flash. So what he do? He was sitting in passenger seat. He snapped the flash right in my eyes, so that I had to me. pull over to. Uh, <laughs> it was Noel. I did that too. You know, <laughs> oh, and he did too. Yes, you both. You both are taking pictures in the car. Yes. Yeah. So then, what did you do, Sean? I had to pull over and call Lori because I, I was seeing flashes. flashes. Did she come well, pick no, him up or what? No, one, no wonder this both guy. of you knuckleheads taking pictures. This guy. What did she you do? called Pete? this guy. Oh. He, uh, he, uh, he made him sitting back. <laughs> and put, he, he had to put his hands in his lap <laughs> all the way home. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well done, you guys. <laughs> Good times. Back to Jeff. What? Been the best ever Friday theme. Theme. Oh, uh, theme night. Best Friday theme night ever. Got a lot to choose from over 20 years. I was my uh when we me, I was Luigi and Pete was Mario. Oh, oh. You did like a, was it Halloween? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it could have been like the Nintendo theme. Party. I also yeah. remember one of one <laughs> of the other ones when you guys did the Brady Bunch with Jeff Kucha. Uh, yes, I was Greg Brady. Who was Chad? I was it Peter or Bobby or somebody. I don't know. Two years ago, we did Toy Story, and Chad was like the little tiny arm, green army soldiers. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. And then this past year, we did Charlie Brown, and you were you were Charlie Brown, right? Mm -hmm. With the yellow yeah. shirt. That was great. And Peppermint Patty with Kim. Yep, Kim did Peppermint Patty. All right, you have the next question. This is no? my favorite one. One of my favorites will be the superheroes, and Jeff was the Incredible Hulk. 
Not when he came in the Buzz Lightyear costume. No, nope, when he painted his whole body green. Oh. To be an oh. incredible Hulk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went like this. Yeah. Are you sure? Is it this uh, one? Sort of. <laughs> All right, you're really close to him. Okay. Yes. We we know you love the local news channel. Who are your favorite news anchors? A- anchors and weather people. We know this is gonna be a tough one, Chad. I told you I was gonna ask the tough questions. Shannon Moss. Shannon Moss, boom, former Strive cast guest. Check. Andrew Ian Stein. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's with six. Uh-huh. Um Joe Coupo, retired. What channel? Six. Mm-hmm. Jessica mm-hmm. Connolly, she's six too. Um, Future Tweens presenter. That's right, can't wait. Yeah. And I'm at 22nd, I believe. Uh, on 13, on 13, I like uh, Jennifer Long, Katie Sampson, Jan, Jan Barnello, Laura he- Healy, Lexi O'Connor. Greg Lagerquist, Jeff Peterson, and there's that other one that I can't pronounce her name. That's okay. You got a good list there. Is that the one who does the auction every year? Uh, Jennifer Rooks. Jennifer course. Rooks. She's on the radio. Made public. Yeah. Also former Stripecast guest. guest. Awesome. Jeff? Speaking of the news, Jeff, hit us. Uh, tell us the story of when. You, your, uh, your name, uh, yeah. uh, get mentioned. Oh, uh, mentioned on the news. Well, a long time ago, Jackie Kutcher, North Carcos, Tana Moss, <laughs> formerly Channel 8, sung Happy Birthday on the Air. Oh. To Chad? To me. What, how old were you turning that year, do you remember? I can't remember. Yeah. We were still, we were coming in this building, I think. Yeah, it was a good one. That's awesome. I, I do have a great memory, actually. Go ahead, what is it? I think, did I used to spend a night one time at your house? No. <laughs> no, you've never been to my house. <laughs> do you remember spending the night at Chad's house? No. Okay, so. Would you, you like to spend the night at Chad's house? But we had a, fish, a fishing trip with me and him and my dad. Oh, where'd you guys go? Um, Did you spend the night at your house? With me and Chad and my dad. Was that a dream? Because I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> a couple, a long time ago. Oh. Did you, you know, catch, catch anything? You kind of young at the time. Okay. <laughs> Did you catch anything? Um, I, not me. Hmm. Did your dad catch anything? A little bit. Did Chad catch anything? I don't know. Oh, well. All right. All right. You got the last question, Noel. Yep. We are celebrating 20 years of Strive this year. Can you share your favorite Strive memory? Good one, Noel. Chad? I'm thinking. Mm. Okay. I have a lot of them. Yes. Yeah. You can tell us a couple if you want. Yeah, you can share as many as you'd like. When, when Bodachi toured the, um, toured the facility mm-hmm. and I got to walk beside him with his chief of staff. That's that was awesome. Former Governor Bodachi. Yep. Here when we did our ribbon cutting. That's awesome. The original. You got more you want to share? Yeah, I got to meet uh, Angus King. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. And were you here when Glenn Close came? I was sick. Oh, oh. you were sick of the... Uh, yeah. Oh, the day to mess. Mm-hmm. Actually, I was in the hospital bed. Oh, I, mean, oh. oh, I foot, remember that. Foot, Excellent. No, foot surgery. Oh. Yeah, that was what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any other memories you want to share, Chad? Got 20 years of strive under your belt. Any funny stories? No. <laughs> no that, that, <laughs> Not, that can be repeated? Yeah. <laughs> no. Not appropriate for air. But, well. Well, then I think it's only time. Well, actually, I think we probably should come right back and Light. do the lighting around. Yep. All right. We will be right back.
All right, we are back, and it's time for the lightning, lightning round. round. Lightning Get it? Round. Lightning round. Lightning round. Lightning 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 here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. So, Chad, the lightning round is a little faster pace. We're going to give you a couple okay. choices or a quick question, and going to need you to fire off some, some answers. And these are tough, especially the first one, which is going to be by Jeff. Yeah. Uh, uh, channel 13 or Channel 6? Channel 13. Ooh, Ooh. decided. Summer Rats Drive or Winter Rats Drive? Summer. Yeah. Shrive Rocks or Auction? Shrive Rocks. Ooh, coming up. Hawaii? Hawaii. Or oh, Maine? Hawaii. Yeah. Do you have a Hawaii story you want to tell us? Or the ladies. You had ladies? Up on stage. Or the hula skirt and the little thing on top. And the flowers on their head? No, me. Oh. You had a hula skirt and thingy on your head? Yep. <laughs> wow. All right, Chad. Favorite food, here we go. Pizza or chop chili? Chop chili. Ooh. Coke or orange soda? Coke. Mm. Yep, that's like me. <laughs> working at Shaw's or working at Strive? Working at Strive. That's the right answer. I got one for you. What's, what's a bigger pet peeve for you? When Jeff forgets to put the wet floor signs up after he mops, or when Noel forgets to wash down the pizza trays after we use them at Stripe Night. Sometimes. <laughs> but mostly I don't do it. When he forgets to put... The uh, wet floors on. Yeah. Pointing at Jeff. Yeah. Because uh, when those blue strips get wet, they're very slippery. They're very slippery. And I almost went... Took down. a tumble. Yeah. <laughs> Good pet peeves. Uh, yes, that's me. Okay, you got the last one here, Noel. Yeah. Oh, f favorite... Person who calls strive. The favorite caller on the phone? No, no I don't Just, have. All right, well, those are all the questions that we had written down. Jeff, Noel, do you guys want to? Any ahead? other questions? Yeah, questions or stories you want to share about Chad? I don't know. Think about it. What's your favorite thing about Chad? When he's always in a good mood. Yeah. And he's smiley and everything. And smiling and what? Friendly. And very friendly, yes. What about Good you, Joe? Good when you come into the office? Um, yeah, and sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, well, I like my dad. Uh, uh, he's very groomy. He's well-groomed? Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, he, I, he, uh, he plugs his own uh, nose hairs. <laughs> Uh, no. I think they'll fall under well groomed. Uh, maybe not that. All right. So I think that's about all the time we have. Thanks to Chad Taplin for being our guest. Anything else? Then we will be right back. The Strive Cast is brought to you by. You're out of here. You're, You're out, out of here. here. We would love someone, <laughs> someone somewhere oh. to advertise with us. Lots of options. Um, you can advertise with us just on the podcast, which is on all sorts of uh, formats, or you have the opportunity to advertise with us and potentially go on the radio. We're also looking at some other. Um, local more um, options as well. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk to you. Give us a call or send us an email at strivecast at pslstrive.org. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
TD Bank. Bank. Yeah, you were there for about 10, 12 years. Yeah. And what did you do to keep that job? What were some things, some skills you had? Not being lazy and do the book. There you go. And (laughs) not going on the computer and not doing it. Right. Nice. Good answer. How about you, Jeff? What's the longest job you've ever had? Uh, the longest job that I ever had uh, was uh, writing for this guy. Oh, yeah, this one. Working right? at Strive, Working here right? at Strive. What do you do here? What's your job? Uh, I clean for Pete. You just clean for Pete? Nobody <laughs> yeah. else? I don't even work in this building anymore. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it was fun to kind of do the silly thing in your office. Yes, that was a way if not to keep a job. Right, right. How do you keep this job? What's one of the things yeah, you do? Yeah, what do you do well? Um, I actually clean the bathrooms. I do I, I do it like doing that. Mm-hmm. Just do, do what you're, do asked, what to you're do asked to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it with a smile. Awesome. Yes. Great answers, guys. All right. All right, we will be right back. Okay, and we're back, and it's time for the Words of Wisdom. Where's the Wisdom? Where's the Wisdom? For episode 19, sticking with the Strive anniversary theme, let's have Words of Wisdom about why should someone should get involved with Strive, or like what your best memory has been. Okay. We're going to have Jeff go first. Mm-hmm. Jeff, what's yeah. your favorite favorite memory of Strive? Um, my favorite of Strive is... Uh, Having fun and hanging out with my coworkers. Oh, good one. But what about like when you were back in the day when you used to come on Friday nights or when you come to Strive 25 or uh, was there one event or activity that we did? You know, we went to Foxwoods even. You know, we've done a lot of things um, oh, yeah. over the past 20 years. Oh, yes, we did. Yep. I like how we went to the Red Sox game. Yeah, yeah we went to Futures of Fenway. Too, yeah, yeah. A double header. Yep, yeah, I love that. And what did you bring back in your pocket as a souvenir? Oh, uh, yeah. What was it? Souvenir for your brother. You brought him a? Cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <laughs> did not survive the hot August sun <laughs> all the way back right. from <laughs> Fenway. What about tubing, first of all? Tubing, that was fun as well. Where'd you guys go tubing? The, um, oh, that little bit for the Keith Fun Park. Fun. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. We used to do a com- weekend community event every Saturday, or once a month, I should say. But. Pete, what's your mm-hmm. favorite Strive memory in all 20 years? That Oof, that's a loaded one. I think I might have to bring them out a little bit over the over the years. Yeah. But um, the, the one that Chad mentioned was a, a really good one, the skate with Ray Bork. That yeah. was right up there for me. That was fun. He also came to our auction one year, so that's that right. was pretty cool. We had uh, Kevin Falk, uh, former Patriot running back, um, came to Strive Rocks one year, and that was pretty fun um so a lot of great memories yeah. um and some that aren't big events either some things that just happened right. here um during the day the good times yeah, yeah. so and we'll get to those three movies with Tebby Watt. exactly way back nice. yeah so Shout out. all right we'll be right back to wrap it up Sometimes you say we at the end. La, 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 we. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to wrap it up. Thank you so much to our friend and coworker Chad Taplin for coming on the Strivecast. We really appreciate it. How do you think that went, Noel? Really good. Yeah, I thought so too. Really good and delicious too. In case you didn't hear that whisper. Yeah, that was fun. I think it's going to be fun to look back over 20 years. Absolutely. Um, you want to talk about who we have coming up next, Pete? Next week we are interviewing. We have Lori the Vornis. entire Q Morning Show with Lori Vornis and the gang is going to come on. That should be interesting when the Strivecast team meets the Q Morning Show team. Yeah. So tune in for that one. And then the week after we have Eva from Blake and Eva on Coast 93.1. So we got back to back radio hosts. And then after that we've got uh, Disability Rights Maine going to come in and tell us a little bit about what they do and how um, they might be able to help some of our listeners. Absolutely. I, I, I do have a number we have about Q Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Remember the um, the bikini contest at the pavilion? I was not there, but I do remember all the stories and I've seen some pictures. When I met with it, Kevin or oh, uh, somebody, what Jeff. Why don't was, you tell that story? Yeah, tell the story. What did you do there? I was one of the judges. You were one of the yeah. judges in a bikini contest? With me, Jeff, and Paul. And how did that go? Where did it go? When did Noel it? was at Strive U, they went out on the town one day and somehow ended up judging a bikini contest. Yeah. 
just walked into that one, huh? That's right. We will never that's right. Right. That's pretty exciting. I bet you really liked that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, uh, we're excited to talk to both Lori Bornis and her crew and Eva and just Billy Rights Maine. And then further down the line, Senator Susan Collins. So, that's exciting as well. Yeah. Uh, former Governor Jack McKernan and uh, former Senator Olympia Snow have also agreed to come on to the right. Strivecast. We're just um, setting up that date. For, uh, what so about Carson Daly? Carson Daly has not yet agreed to come yes, on. Yes, we have not been able to get a hold of his people yet, but do, we're working do you, on it. Do you know who his best friend is? I yeah. do not. Hit me, baby, one more time. Britney Spears? Yeah. They're huh. really best friends? Yeah. And it, her birthday is a December birthday. Hmm. How do you know that? Because Knowles is a December birthday. No, because as he said, on when he used to do Total Request Live. I loved uh, Total Request Live. Yeah. TRL was a great show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to this Drivecast. <laughs> we hope you have a great week. <laughs> Signing off. I'm Olivia. I'm Noah. I'm Pete. And Jeff left already, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> that's Jeff. And that's Jeff. All Thanks right. for listening. Thanks Please for share. Listening. Bye, guys. Subscribe. Uh, leave a rating. Bye. Bye, day. Thank <laughs> you.